I remember the time I went to this overnight lock-in for all boys on a warm summer night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember it clear as day. My, my older brother was with me. My my, uh, my mom gave me some snacks and a few dollars to take the event. And, and it wasn't a complete lock-in, though, you know? Because as the name suggests, you're supposed to be locked in a specific building. But the counselors or the people in charge for the event, they, they took everyone out to see a movie before, you know, we got officially locked in. But, but we didn't all see the same movie, right? They split us off into two groups, and, and, you know, we saw two different movies. One of them being, I think, Sagittarius or Secretariat or something like that. And then the other one was uh, Paranormal Activity 2. Anyone under the age of 13 had to watch Secretariat, which was like, I think like some sort of horse movie, while anyone above the age of 13 got to watch uh, Paranormal Activity 2 if they wanted to, right? Now, now the problem with that was I was only 12. So when they came around asking people uh, their, their age and birthday, I had to lie like a motherfucker, you know? You, you think you think I'm about to watch a horse movie? Nigga, no, w what am I? S some some nine-year-old white bitch? <laughs> What am I, Lil Nas X? So then we head off into the movie theater, and I'm so happy. I, I get to hang with the big kids, the big boys, right? But there was another problem that arose. I had never once seen a horror movie before in my life. So by the time the movie ended, I, I walked out the, the, the theater <laughs> looking like a, a World War I victim. And I, I, I'm shivering, I'm shaking, I'm sh shell-shocked almost, right? And when we got on the bus, I looked at the kids from the other group that went to see uh, that horse movie, and they're all happy, they're smiling, sunshine shining down on their bodies, they're, they're content with life. Like, damn, maybe I shouldn't have hit that chain sides, cause, cause for the entire ride back to the building, my face was darting around, surveying the environment, like, like some sort of prey, some sort of, some sort of herbivore trying to eat leaves and acorns. Every time uh, a car passed, I thought in my head, there could be a demon driving that car. Yeah, 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 how do we know that? How do we know if the, the camp counselor driving the bus isn't a demon himself? How do we know my brother's not a demon, huh? I even remember going to the bathroom stalls later on in the night, just scared as a little bitch. My knees wobbling, like my bones got replaced by those toys that can walk down the stairs. And as I walked inside the bathroom, my scared-to-death child mind starts hearing some ominous dripping noises. And, and I'm breathing it. I'm breathing, looking around like, where's that coming from? What the fuck is that? Turns out, it, it was just another kid peeing in one of the stalls. And the torment, it didn't stop there. After the lock-in for a whole month, that movie tortured my undeveloped mind. I invented a new definition of sleeping under the covers. I had my blanket and bed sheets arranged like 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 some some Native American teepee house, just waiting to catch a demon slipping. I even brought empty milk jugs to my room so I didn't have to get up in the darkness of the night to go to the bathroom. And as I look back at that whole experience, I realize how stupid how much of an imbecile I was as a kid. That movie was the least scary thing in the existence of scary movies. So I, I, I give you a quick summary of how Paranormal Activity 2 was. Whoa! Ha, ha, I, I, I got you? Did, did I get you? That, that was it. That was all it was. I even feel like Paranormal Activity 2 was the start of the era where, where directors shifted more from movies that were actually repulsive, intense, and frightening to, hey, if we can get them to inhale abruptly or gasp even one time within an, an hour and a half movie, I feel like we deserve a pat on the back. See, see, mark my words, in about 10 years, the entire horror genre will get rid of movies altogether, or you know, at least the, the long movies. They'll get rid of long movies, and people will be taking 13 minute drives to the movies just to see a 30 second clip of some apparition or monster briefly popping in front of the screen to jolt a cheap jump scare out of everyone. And everyone's gonna be like, wow, that, that, was, ama that was an amazing movie. I, I can't wait to see the sequel next year. I, I think it's what? What's it called? Monster Pops in Front of the Screen Part 2? Where instead of just one monster, they'll have two monsters popping in front of the screen at the same time. And the high quality ones of that era, you know, the critically acclaimed ones will be exactly the same thing, but it'll have some, some, uh, some eerie, you know, that little that, that eerie music that gets unnecessarily loud the moment that the monster cuts in the frame.